My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, as long as you're burned, you're not going anywhere. It's dangerous to say no to a spy. In a business where motives are questionable and loyalty is skin deep, declining the wrong request can earn you a trip to the morgue. So if you're asked to soak in a jacuzzi by a black ops sociopath who's paranoid about listening devices, you pick out your favorite trunks and wade in. Come on in, Mike. The water's warm. Am I being punished? Not at all. I just thought we could use a spot where we could talk freely about our future together. I like you. You know, like a friend. You're cute, but don't interrupt. My mood's been a bit dodgy since you failed to steal that file I wanted from the Chileans. See, I wouldn't say I failed as much as your plan failed. As long as you don't partner me up again, you'll get your file soon enough. I won't. I've learned the files being destroyed. And I confess my first thought was to kill you and take my leave. But no, we must keep calm and carry on. Thanks. I think I've sussed out a way to get the information that I need. I'll leave the details to you this time, but the gist is this. You ought to steal flight data for every private plane flying in and out of Miami for the next six weeks. What are you doing? Me? I'm offering you a job. You do it, you get paid money. That's all you need to know. Listen, I don't like prison food. Operations that have to do with flight traffic? Extremely risky. I'd need to know more before I commit. And I am telling you, that simply cannot be. This is another moment of truth, Michael. Do we have a future together or not? Double my fee. Price of ignorance. Price of privacy. Fair enough. Can I get out now? I pushed as hard as I could, Sam. He's not talking. Well, to be fair, the guy's a scheming psychopath. Keeping their cards close to the vest is what they do. You may have to stay in the game longer to find out what he's holding. I may lose my seat at the table if I don't come up with six weeks' worth of private flight records. I could try the FAA, the DEA. I was thinking the Coast Guard. Oh, the Navy's little sister. That's a good choice. How are you going to get in? Oh, don't give me that look. They hire ex-seals all the time for Homeland Security checkups. You could get one of your buddies to hire you on for a temp gig. You could get in and out, no questions asked. Oh, Jesus, Mike. But, you know, the thing about buddies is that they're your buddies. You can't make them unwitting accomplices to a felony. Do you have an alternative with a lower risk of somebody being killed? <laughs> Sam, I'm really asking. I don't want to do this any more than you do. All right, brother, I'll do it, but I'm getting an itchy feeling. You sure that's from a moral dilemma? Oh, that's not nice. Deadbolt was cut with the blowtorch. Probably didn't break in to steal your blender. Hey, pal. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Larry, what the hell are you doing here? Well, it's nice to see you too, Michael. And Sam, I also see you. Seriously, pal. 
We do 20 missions on three continents, and this is how you greet me? Well, that was before you faked your own death and came back without a soul. Ouch. A little harsh, huh? Uh, you do kill people for money, Larry. You know, the last time we said goodbye, I was staring at you through a sniper scope. What made you think I ever wanted to see you again? Come on, now, don't be like that. Look, I am not here to kill you. He was. I saved your life. All right, talk. I'll explain everything after we get rid of this body. Now, I've been looking around this place trying to find something to stuff him in so we can carry him out without spooking your neighbor. How attached to you to that couch? Ah, oh, would you look at that? Free to the chest. He didn't even get a shot off. <laughs> I just get better with age. Uh, Mikey, that's a Santa Muerta tattoo. Six tears, the guy's a pro with half a dozen kills. Pro, that's kind of generous. Six is a promising start, I guess. Larry, why is a hitman in my apartment? Well, I think that uh, Juan Doe here would have preferred the term sicario. A cartel wants me dead? Not exactly. So far, it's only the guy who runs their cash processing center. Carlos, he sent this fellow, and he wants his money back so he won't have to tell his bosses. You robbed the Colombians. Two million bucks. <laughs> they haul in all this wrinkled up street cash. Dirty bills, they gotta be cleaned and sorted somewhere. And then when I heard that these idiots do it all in the same place. You used my name to get close. I'm a burned spy, I'm here to help. <laughs> it's a pretty good approach, damn it. I mean, especially with your dossier attached. Okay. I admit we have a situation. I tried to close the loop, but Carlos wasn't there when I hit the place. I killed four guys, and he is angry. Like I'm just gonna say it, there's room for two on that couch. It's heavy as it is. Oh, he's such a softy. I love this kid. <laughs> Listen. I got the perfect solution. We feed this body to the sharks, and then you and I kill Carlos, and I will give you a brand new identity. That's your solution for Mike to kill a man and go on the run? Honestly, Michael, how do you put up with this guy's constant motherings? Yes, Sam, that is exactly the plan, and it will work. Michael, I have a whole new network. Protection, guns, IDs, and you will be safe under my wing. You really think I'm gonna be your partner? I'm gonna give you 24 hours to change your mind and get in touch. After that, I gotta think about my own liability. Someone has to clean this up. You're Larry Garber now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the kind of money I make, you can't just leave it laying around the house. You want to invest, you need an identity. And there was this shoe salesman up in Buffalo, and he was kind enough to fall on a knife and give me his. Think about it. Um. That guy sucks. Hey, Fee. Hey, Fee. Michael, when you asked if you could come over, you did not mention Sam. It's not that I haven't seen him before. He didn't want to get into details on the phone. I have a body in the trunk of my car, and uh, Larry's back. Oh, and a cartel wants to kill Mike, if you can take Larry's word for it, which, you know, we can't. Damn it, Michael. The last time he was here, you should have pulled the trigger. No more bodies until we figure out when I'm up against and we find a place to store the one we've got. Fine. You can use my neighbor's apartment. Place is tenant for termites. They're fumigating next week. Mm -hmm. 
Preserving a corpse is not a frequent job requirement for a spy. But if you must, stashing a body is a lot like storing high explosives. Air, water, and heat are the enemy. His name is Justino Valverde. Not an organ donor, in case we're feeling guilty. So far, nobody's calling. If he and I can track down where he lives and check it out, probably not a good idea for you to show your face around Cartel Central. Right, I'll lay low and dig into his phone. I guess I gotta go by and alert my mom. Nate, too. You forgot your brother was coming into town, didn't you? Meet Mrs. Nate Weston. Nate, you married? Yep. Me and Ruth pulled the trigger Tuesday in Vegas. Welcome to the family, new bro. Your brother is so amazing. We met last month at my blackjack table, and six decks with him, and I was done. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, right? <laughs> yeah. They just arrived just a little while ago, and I st it still hasn't sunk in. <laughs> this is great. Wow. To Nate and Ruby. Ruth. Ruth. Nate. Gosh, she's incredible, right? She is. Yeah. yeah. I have a problem. Yeah, well, there's a shocker. I need you to stay here and watch Mom. Are you kidding me? No, no, dude, this is like my honeymoon, bro. You want me to subject Ruth to that right away? I can appreciate that, but I really need you to keep an eye out. Larry's in town. Dead Larry? The assassin? Take this. Don't tell mom. She'll freak out. I'm freaking out. All right, fine. But you gotta check in often. Thank you. I mean that. You really know how to kill a buzz, bro. I have to go, but congratulations to you! Wow! Michael, don't you dare! So my cop buddy says this house has gotten some noise complaints recently. Bunch of young guys. Probably Sicarios waiting around between hits. It's sort of like a frat house for cartel soldiers. Looks like they installed the security cameras themselves. Coax coming from the inside, there must be more in the house. So the bosses can keep an eye on these guys. And somebody forgot to pay the gardener. <laughs> Lucky yes. Sometimes the least secure parts of a security system are the security cameras themselves. If leaves obstruct the lens because the landscaping hasn't been maintained, you can approach from a blind spot. And if you get close enough, borrowing the video feed is as easy as stealing pay-per-view. This week on Casa de Sicario, the killers sleep late and eat cereal for lunch. Hey, you okay with the first shift here? I have to go exploit a friend in the name of an unsanctioned national security operation. And I don't want to be late. Helping Michael with Gilroy. Have fun. Yeah, define fun. Hey, Sam. That Gilroy bastard better be worth it. You already got the stuff from the Coast Guard? Yeah, and I feel like crap about it. I'm pimping my seal link down here, Mike. It's disgusting. No more favors like this. And if your job goes sideways and blows back on my friend, you and me, we're going to have some problems, pal. <laughs> Dino's phone's a dry well, brand new. His only calls were his grandma and a pizza place. You got here just in time. I'm meeting a mysterious new character. Some kind of boss type. Showed up about five minutes ago. I don't like him so far. He's kind of a sourpuss. So, just met Nate's wife. There's a Mrs. Nate Weston blackjack dealer he just met. The whole thing seems pretty well thought out. I said good for Nate, good for him. You know, life is short. You gotta grab it by the... I should take this. Looks like boss man's texting the dead guy. Is it coded? 
kind of, it's in Spanish. Look, if it was in Russian or Farsi, I... What's taking so long? Okay, Mr. Self. I guess this is the guy who wants you dead. Ooh. You call him a pendejo. It's like idiot, but ruder. Says to hurry up with you. Get over to finish the job at the Hotel Vector. Sounds like Larry forgot to mention I'm not the only target. You look upset. So who's Carlos gunning for here? Front man, I hired a guy to drop your name. You'd have done the same thing. He's a disposable part-time hustler. You're working with an amateur? Amateur criminal, professionally, he's a magician, like for kids' parties. Great card tricks, great smile. Jack Fleetwood, real name Jablonski. Not too bright. Sleeps with the manager here, so he stays for free. I'm surprised he's still breathing. Well, I was gonna take care of him later. Ah, uh, two heirs, two heirs, Eries? You have lived in Miami for how long? He's calling him up and <laughs> it's sort of like uh, an idiot but ruder. And he's saying he is uh, sending some more guys over to clean things up. Well, look. Nature's taking its course. We can just relax. Relax? You think I want a police investigation into this? My name is attached. I told you I could give you a new name, Michael. Why bother saving some poor schmuck? Coming, Nina. Nina, Nina, Nina. Whoa. Hey, what's going I'm on? I'm Michael. Okay, do Michael. What's going on? We'll explain later. I just need you to get dressed right now. Why? No, the Colombian drug cartel wants you dead. They're sending a couple of guys over to kill you. What? what? Is this about those Latin guys you had me talk to? Didn't I just say I'll explain later? Here. No, 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 no. No more bodies. You got a better idea. Does this room have a pool view? Yeah. Just hit the mattress. Stay on this floor. They will hunt you down and kill you. The key to surviving a fall into shallow water is safely displacing your body's mass. A flat surface floating on top can help absorb and distribute your weight evenly. Miss the target and you may as well be jumping right on the concrete. Oh, I think I broke my foot. That's crazy, huh? starts killing everyone. Um, I, I really think uh, it would be better if I kept this elevated on the bed. Oh, forget it, Houdini. That is a Hungarian goose down duvet. Listen, Michael, I, I apologize about all this cartel stuff, but can you help me out? Because I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. Jack, you and I have a problem. This guy, Carlos, you talked to, he thinks we robbed him of two million dollars and killed four of his friends. Mm. 
So we need to convince him that somebody else did it, preferably somebody who's already dead so the body count doesn't go any higher. We need to convince Carlos this was an inside job. His own Sicario, Justino Valverde, robbed him. And this is something you're hopefully really good at. We zero out Justino's bank account buy some conflicting airline tickets, some clothes. It'll look like this guy stole Carlos's money and is about to skip town with the cash. Got it. He didn't. No. It's like an illusion. I'm starting to regret saving his life. He knows too much now. You can't let the cartel find him. Well, what's going on? You guys making some kind of decision? Orchestrating a fake sighting isn't a job that calls for subtlety. It's not enough to dress an imposter in the right clothes. Am I doing all right? Oh, you are doing just fine, Justino. You're kinky. I like it. You need to make grand gestures and attract attention to colorful details. Justino here thinks that his tattoo is sexy. I think it's scary. Who's right? It's a Santa Muerte. Do it right, and eyewitnesses will be lining up to ah. swear they saw a dead man buying drinks. <laughs> drinks are on you, my friend. This round is on Justino. He just inherited a fortune. <laughs> We need to get out of town. Go vacation in the Keys and go now and burn the clothes. Every class of criminal has their own set of fears. Usually the boogeyman lives in the mirror. Thieves triple lock their doors. Embezzlers check their bank accounts obsessively. And cartel soldiers Get the hell out of any car that won't start right away. Carly, I'm Michael Weston. Good to meet you. What the hell? You think I have your money? That's all the money I have. You better kill me now. You know, you're not the first person to tell me that today. You think you can rob me? Me! I didn't rob you, Carlos. Your boy Justino did. I never even heard of you until I got wind some cartel lackey wanted me dead. What? No. This punk, Jack, he told me He we're... told you what Justino said to tell you. Justino would never betray me. Really? I think you might have a little too much faith in the bond you share with a mass murderer. I got a call, Carlos. Your boy Justino was spotted at the Iguana Bar down in South Beach five hours ago. Since then, nothing. He's probably gonna blow town. Son of a bitch. If this don't check out... What are you gonna do? You gonna kill me? Find him, Carlos. Do it fast. Do it alone. Trust the wrong Sicario again. And the next time your car doesn't start. You might not be missing a spark plug. that you don't want to live there. You've never even been to Vegas. You have to at least give it a chance. I am not some old woman that you can pack away into a retirement village. <laughs> you do not get to tell me where to live. Mom, who said anything about a retirement village? I just want you close by. Some place where spies and killers aren't crawling out of the woodwork every other week. Some place safe. You know, Vegas is amazing. The weather is amazing. Someday you're going to have grandkids there. Don't you think living near them would just be amazing? You going to smoke that in here?
You want mom to move to Vegas? I want you on my side on this. Tell her it's too dangerous here. She'll listen. She never listens to me. Can you at least try? Give her a minute to cool down. Maybe give her a day. <laughs> This your card. Four speeds. Still no. Hey, Mike. Mike, you better look at this. We have got hundreds of individually logged flights here. Tail numbers, nav points, clearance codes, everything you need to create mayhem in the sky for a month. And Chuck Finley didn't get this stuff. Sam Axe did. It's not even the point. We shouldn't be giving this stuff to Gilroy. Is this your card? Oh, for God's sake, man, it's the three of clubs. Okay, that's not Fee, because she went out for food like five minutes ago. <laughs> hey, gotta hand it to you, kid. I had my doubts. What are you talking about? Well, your plan, it worked. I've been following Carlos all day long. Come here, take a look at this. <laughs> There's been anything this good on at 10 o'clock in a long time. Well, look at him trashing that place. Ostino's not in that couch, my friend. <laughs> Larry! Larry! Come on, enough! You're not killing him. You don't get it, Julia. Your plan worked. It's time to dump Hustino and this chucklehead on Carlos's front stoop and walk away! Put the knife down, Larry. Or what? Your trigger finger has rushed him off! What the hell was that? Hey, he warned you. And look, there's not going to be any more blood just as soon as your hand stops dripping. I am not talking to you, Boy Scout! This is my show, Larry, and I need him alive. He's gonna point Carlos to the money you stole. You think I'm giving up two million bucks now? Yeah, I do. The key to fake surveillance is delivering real boredom. If someone suffers for the information you're feeding them, they're much more likely to believe it. Can I get one of them chips in there? What's well, no in Spanish? It's still no, right? You didn't tell me we were gonna be here all day. I'm hungry. Would you just go snatch his ass? Yeah, how'd that work out for you last time, genius? I told you, Jack's too protected. He's had guys watching him ever since your boys missed him at the hotel. I don't care. We can't just sit around here all day. We gotta act. Showtime, buddy. Just read the script exactly the way I wrote it. Listen, listen. Chuck Gino? He's talking to Hustino. Boat slip on Grove Isle? Yeah, five's good. I can be there. I mean, should I bring a bag? Maricon is talking about his cut. <laughs> I mean, if you got it all with you, you got to let me take a look at the whole pile. I mean, I bet it barely fits in the trunk. Oh, that's, that's beautiful, amigo. All right. When Hustino shows up at his meeting, he's going to be so dead. See, we're on. If you've been procrastinating, you can't anymore. We got the money in the trunk, just waiting on Hustino. Tell Michael the next time he asks me for a favor, I'm gonna ask him what it is before I say yes. Jonah, don't shoot. I let myself in. What the hell are you doing here? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and guess you've never dressed a corpse before, so I'm here to help. I'm not interested in- Oh, come on, let me put it another way. If this job goes south because you screwed up, everybody is going to end up very sad. Here, hand me that shirt. It's a hell of a lot easier when you stitch them in. 
Your mother must be so proud. You're going to pretend that we have nothing in common, huh? We both have certain capacities and certain appetites, and that is how we connect with Michael. You don't know the first thing about Michael. Sometimes you're just what he needs. And sometimes he pushes you away. Uh, do those have cucumber in them? I'm allergic. Oh. Well, I have a cold cuts in the fridge. No. I thought I told you I'm trying to stay away from protein. Mom, well, um, I'd like to talk about Vegas again. Oh? And what about what I want? Does that matter in this discussion? I think what Nate's trying to say is you might feel better. We all might feel better, maybe, if you were someplace safer. Like 3,000 miles away safer? Oh, look! Cucumber salad. I'm sorry that I'm late and that I can't stay. Michael, can I talk to you for a minute? I just had a visit from your old pal, Larry. Okay, don't believe everything he says. He said that you worked together for three years. That's true, but the government thought we were a good team. After all you saw him do. I don't know how you can stay in the same room with him. I can't be with you right now. You need help with Carlos, so you can ask Sam. Mikey, it's time to celebrate my genius. I was going blind, fussing with all that flight data on my laptop, so I went old school. And I figured out which flight Gilroy's after. All right, every page is a flight plan. This is every flight today. It's like pickup sticks. It's all crisscross. It's a big cluster, and every day is exactly like that, except one day. The 22nd. Somebody needs a wide berth. Yeah, you get that when it's mandated by the government. This is some kind of serious black flight, Mike. And I'll bet you dollars to donuts, this is what Gilroy is interested in, and this is all he's gonna get. Sam, you're probably right about which flight he's after, but he asked for all of it, every flight. You think you get to make this call alone? I'm on the line here. My friend is on the line. Every person on every one of those planes is on the line. You said it yourself. He's only after one flight. Right, but what is to stop him from selling the rest to the highest bidder? We won't let that happen. You're right. We won't. You want this data, Mike? You're going to have to steal it yourself because I'm not going to give it to you. And hey, if that makes me the Boy Scout that you and your friend Larry think I am, man, I'm okay with that. Sam? No, I'm not going to help you anymore until you get your head out of your ass. Sam! Hey, you want backup at your meeting with Carlos? Call Fee. Sam! Four forty-five. We've seen no got here early. He won't look so peaceful when I'm done with him. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna go pull his fingers off. I gotta talk to this guy. See if the rest of my crew was in on this. How the hell did you get put in charge of anything? We're not getting within a hundred yards of that guy. You don't know what kind of backup he has. What the hell is that doing in my trunk? I put it there. I'm gonna do him from here. When we know he's alone, we'll go down there and collect your money. And then you can do whatever you want to his finger. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. He robbed me, okay? He killed my men. Give it to me. I get the honors. Come on. Don't miss. You see what you get, pendejo? <laughs> It's all here. But I guess I gotta let you off the hook, huh? So we're good. We're great. 
Large amounts of cash present a huge temptation Oye. to steal, to kill for, to counterfeit. There's no security strip, no threat. Are you trying to pull something, huh? Were you in on this? That doesn't make any sense. You run a cash processing center. Why would I shove Monopoly money in your face? Don't be stupid, put the gun away. I ain't gonna let you call me stupid no more. Christina must have been trying to screw his partner over. This is not my fault. It's your fault I can't have him alive. I can't ask him where he hid the real money. I can find the money and you know it. You shoot me, it's gone forever. You got one day to come up with my cash. You put it in the trunk of a car, you park it by the airport. You let me know. You do that, I take off the head. If not... See, Larry swapped the money. I don't know where he is or what he's doing. Call me back. You've reached the voicemail for Sam X. Sam. Larry, what the hell were you thinking? Michael, I'm sorry you're upset. I pulled that last minute switcheroo for your own good, okay? We should get together. I need to you talk. You meet at my loft in one hour. And if you're not there, if you try to run, I will find you and I will kill you. Sorry. Could walk away from two million bucks. Not gonna happen. I need that money. I'll give you half of it if you do this my way. Kill Carlos. My head is on the chopping block, Larry. You don't think I'll end you to save myself? Oh, I know you would. And that is what I love about you, kid. But I'm not the guy who sent people to end your life. All you have to do is kill him. You're at a fork in the road. And I know you. This is not a tough call. Killing Carlos does not solve my problem. My name, it's in the air. Give you a new one. I'll protect you. You're a shoe salesman from Buffalo. I have connections. I have guns. And I also have what you need most. The will. The will to act on our instincts. To get what we want. And what I want is to work with you again. I'll cut the head off the whole cartel if that's what it takes. Do you know what's sad? I don't see anyone else stepping up to bail you out. It's do or die time, kid. What's it gonna be? After a career spent doing bad things for good reasons, it's hard to say exactly where you draw the line. You might not know exactly. Until someone asks. I'll kill Carlos. You take care of the rest. There you are. Not a great time. Yeah. Whatever, you got me watching out for our mom. You won't even answer my calls? What? What do you mean, what? I wanted to see if there was anything else I could do to help with this Larry thing. I left you like three messages. Turning an asset is a multi-step process. You back them into a corner, you pile on stress, you create tension with the people they trust. And if you can cut them off from good influences, so you're the only voice in their ear, Damn it. 
they're much more likely to listen. Dude, Larry. He knows I checked for bugs. He switched out my SIM card, used call forwarding, isolated me. It's a formula that works so well, it even works on spies who ought to know better. You really thought no one was answering your calls? Jesus, bro. Dad's dead. You're not in Afghanistan anymore. I mean, when are you gonna learn? There are people you can trust. I have one of these Cuban coffees, cortaritos. Fun to drink, fun to say. Cortaritos. You know, I've been thinking, if we're going to do this, I want to be thorough, leave no trace, leave no teeth. Oh, that's good. That's a bumper sticker. I love that. <laughs> Forget shooting, Carlos. We're going to blow up his cash room. We'll take the whole building down with Carlos in it. If it looks enough like a car bomb, the cops will think rival dealers did it. Well, I, I get it. I just... I'm not sure I'd buy it. A new violent plan at the last minute. What happened to St. Michael? People don't change overnight. Well, I haven't. That's why I'm pushing it to three. <sighs> It'll give me time to clear out as many tenants as possible. Oh, there's the old song. I'm kidding. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is a big step forward. We in business or not, because if we are, I want my money fast. We're going to have to run. Relax, relax. I can get it really quick. My bags are already packed. Three o'clock. Don't be late, Larry. Michael Weston back in action? I wouldn't miss it. Yeah. I've said I'm sorry before, right? I'm not sure. I need help. My plan with Carlos fell apart and I'm scrambling. I need to find out where Larry stashed his money. Well, if I were him, I would keep it close, but I would want it someplace where you would look guilty if he had to bag out on the job. Can you meet me at the loft? Sam, we're gonna celebrate your genius. <laughs> Bag. You know, he actually laughed when he said, my bags are packed. <laughs> Two million. It's all there. What's next? I need to apologize. I should have listened to both of you. It's all right, buddy. You were marked for death. I got you. I know I let Larry get too close. You let him... Crawl inside your head and make a mess. There's a part of me. This part that's like him. But it's just a part. And it gets smaller the longer I'm with you. Well, tell me you're done with him forever I am uh, I want him gone how can I help I need you to help me make a very special bomb how do you decide on a binary liquid they're stable easy to smuggle as separates exotic enough so the cops won't know what they're looking at it's beautiful kid that is just beautiful you know what we are going to have so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we will. I dropped off Carlos's money at the airport this morning. He called off the hit. Me and Carlos were straight. Well, at least we're going to be. You shouldn't have done that, kid. That is not your money to give away. What's with the gun, Larry? I let you live, and now you're going to feed me to the sharks? Betray me. You know I will. You know what? I don't have to. I'm just going to leave you here. You're going to be a smoldering corpse. What are you talking about? It's no bomb, Larry. Oh. <laughs> you framed him. Uh, right. Nice. And the binary liquid. Uh, counterfeiting ink? 
the laptop is just full of graphics. And what was Carlos doing with a bunch of scans of $20 bills? Probably printing about $2 million worth of fake bills in this dumpster. Lord, I don't get you, kid. You don't think his bosses will have him killed in prison? <laughs> Carlos made a choice. He chose to work for the cartel. I make my own choices. I don't kill anyone unless I have to. Yeah, well, we are different that way. You're not gonna kill me, Larry. Not when the cops are coming to talk to Larry Garber, the man who called in a report that he saw men with guns, a dumpster filled with fake cash. Now, having an identity has its drawbacks, huh, Larry? You forget who you're dealing with here? I faked my own death once. Sure, but what about Larry Garber's investments and all of his bank accounts? They'll sit on that money and they'll wait for you. You shoot me and all that money's as good as gone. You're at a fork in the road. Go broke and go to jail, or run from the cartel and live to fight another day. I know you, man. This isn't even a tough call. It will be another day. Let me do you a favor. I'll take this and hide it for you. <laughs> You're here, Larry. Larry Garber. Officer! Please, thank you for coming. Thank you. Just wait. Right over here in the trunk. Officers, I can't thank you enough, man. You've been so cool about this. Jack, remember, you're no longer Jack Fleetwood. You're Jack Yablonski again. Forever. Yeah. Psyched about that. Be safe, man. And, Jack, seriously, if you ever come back to Miami, or if I ever hear the name Fleetwood again, I will kill you myself. Okay? Have a safe trip. Wish we didn't have to take off so soon. It was wonderful having you. Ruth, wish you could stay longer. We do too, but, uh, you know, work. One more day she was gonna file for an annulment you owe me. You drive safe. Bye, Ruth. So, you sorry I'm not leaving with them? Mom, I did not say I wanted you to leave. I said if you wanted to live someplace safer, closer to them, I'd understand. Well, I'm happy for Nate. It's time that he settled down and built a life. But I have mine. It's here. With you. And Sam and Fiona. Plus, I can't stand that woman. Weighing operational risk is tricky when your life is on one side of the scale. Withholding flight plan data may put your life in danger, but you try to remember that if you jeopardized thousands of innocent lives to save your own, you wouldn't want to live with yourself anyway. Or a tad overdressed with a jacuzzi, don't you think? Is this your card? It's blatantly not six weeks of flight left. Just the one that you want. Chile to Poland, tail number four, whiskey x-ray, alpha 803. Registered to a faceless corporation in Santiago. What's so special about the plan? What happened to the price of privacy? Well, you hired an operative, not a child. I need to know what's going to Poland. Right. Well, I suppose it's only natural to be curious. I tell you. It's a weaponized plague and a vaccine to match. 
and they're worth a bloody lot of money. That wasn't so hard, was it? You're in them. Gilroy, I think you and I have a bright future together. So, learn anything? Only that he's a damn good liar. Tried to sell me some line about a bioweapon, but it took him a little too long to come up with it. Back to square one, then. Guess you're gonna have to keep doing some digging. I'm gonna need some help, Sam. <laughs> Imagine that.